She shaves with your host Jill. Yep, I'm Jill. So today's uh, shave should be interesting. I got a shave mail, and it was a uh, ten pack sampler from uh, Southern Witchcraft. And that's Courtney, and I forget her partner's name on this, and I apologize. I'll put it uh, down below in the information on the video. And um, I'll tell you, it's really creepy, the different uh, names and descriptions of their uh, soaps. It's spooky, it's creepy, it's demented, <laughs> it's ill, it's sick. <laughs> but <laughs> today's soap I'm going to be using uh, a sample is the uh, like. Lycanthropy, it captures the experience of transcending human barriers through an animalistic transformation in an aromatic midnight garden under a full moon. And the uh, scent profile on this is uh, fir tree, lilac, musk, mildew, moss, Egyptian jasmine, palo santo, and white sage. And uh, ozone. So that's the scent profile on it. Very complex sounding. I've not used this uh, brand of soap before, so this is a first for me. And the razor I'm using, oh, I'm sorry, I've already got it uh, taken apart. But, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's a three piece, and it's the Alpha Ecliptic. It is a slant razor, and I got this from Trevor B. And if uh, some of you haven't noticed, Trevor just did a video. He doesn't do them often. He's not coming back necessarily, but he did post a, uh, a video. And in this uh, razor, I'm going to use a Parker blade. And it's a, uh, what is it, stainless steel. That's what I'm going to be using for the blade on its first use. So let's lay this in here. Lay the bottom cap on it. And this will only go one way, I do believe. Let's see if I got it oriented the right way. No, I don't. Okay. Boy, I'm all thumbs today. Looks like quite a wide gap there, doesn't it? I could be asking for trouble. So, let's see. And it does look like it has an even blade exposure. So let's put that aside. Let's wet the face. I'm going to put a little pre-shave and that will be what's left of this PAA cube. Because this is an aggressive razor. So I hope you had a good week. There are people going stir crazy having to stay in. I know now that it's been left up to the governors as far as staying self-isolated uh, things are going to be changing and I hope we don't have a relapse into cases I think it's too early to do that 
And particularly in here in Florida, they've opened up some of the beaches, which I think is very stupid. So, oh, I didn't pick out a brush yet. Um, what am I going to use? Oh, well, let's take care of the business that I talked about before. I've been using a different brush for every shave. And um, one of the ones that I used again was the DS Cosmetic 24 millimeter, And I love this brush. So let's put that away. Put that back in its box. And I'll put it out in the hallway with the other ones I've already used. And uh, what brush am I going to use? Okay. I am going to, I'm going to use my Omega. Uh, this is a bore brush. It's the 1066. And it's, it's really broken in nice. So let me get my little spoon and take some of this soap out of here. That's quite a bit, actually, that I took out, so uh, I'll be using it for a leg shave after this. And let's press that down inside the bowl. Oh, that's a lot of soap. Oh, does that smell? Wow. It's very strong smelling. Very. Come on, get off my finger. Smooth that around kind of evenly if we can. We got all the rings covered there. All right. Waste not, want not. We'll add that. It's on my finger to the pre shave. So please, if your governor has lifted the uh, Stay put <laughs> edicts and open up certain areas. Please still be careful. Just because it's open doesn't mean you have to do it. I'm not going to. I'm going to stay put still. Oh, <laughs> it helps if I put soap on the brush. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> the quarantine hasn't affected me. <laughs> right. <laughs> I usually face lather, so I'm used to going right to the face, thinking I had soap on it already. <laughs> I have no idea how much water this can take, so this will be um, you and I sharing, learning this soap. God, that's strong. Mmm. can really smell that fur. Wow. It gets even stronger when you start lathering it up. That's pretty darn nice. Now most of the ones that they have on sale on their website, and the 10 samples I have, are more fall type uh, scents. They do have a notation of spring and summer ones coming up, but uh, all these samples are more fall and winterish type scents, so I don't have anything that's really representative of the season that we're actually in right now. But I've never been one that necessarily won't use something if if it's claimed to be a fall scent. I won't use it unless it's fall. I break rules. <laughs> you know that. Wow, look at that. That's nice. I think I can add some more water. And this is a vegan soap. I've been trying to buy more vegan soaps lately. Uh, some of the tallow soaps have been giving me a re reaction. So I've been trying to, when I buy new soaps, to get more vegan. And hopefully essential oils that are in them don't irritate me. 
but wow, look at that. Wow, coming out of the, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Oh, the scent on this is so strong. I like strong scented soaps. And this Omega is really broken and quite nice. Oh, soap flying everywhere. Nice creamy lather. Oh, flying everywhere. Well, I think that's quite nice. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, clear the snack track. Clear the... <laughs> lips and let's get this alpha ecliptic to work oh that's aggressive One side feels more aggressive than the other for some reason. Whoa, that's very aggressive. I'm going to turn it. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. If I don't cut myself, I'll be surprised. Very smooth. I can shave over that without any visible soap because the residual is so good. Newbies don't do this. Okay. Get some more leather on. I like the way vegan soaps feel on my face. So what is your philosophy as far as getting out now that some of the rules have been changed? Are you going to go to crowded areas?
or are you more conservative like me and you're wanting to still distance yourself? Okay, let's go against the grain. Down here, this way is actually against the green for me. Wow, that is very efficient razor. Have it used it in what seems ages? So let's do a little bit here. My, boy, my sink is just a mess. I got soap flying all over the place. I still got plenty of soap or leather. <laughs> yeah, that alpha ecliptic is definitely. An aggressive slant razor. Knock on wood, no bloodletting yet. Okay, let's do the Oh, yeah. I don't know if I want to try. I don't want to push my luck there. Okay. Let's rinse off the face. Let the water out of the sink. Okay, cold water ribs. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels very good. Okay, let's try that off.
feel around. Oh, definitely. Oh, that has got great poche feel. Wow. That's very nice. Alright. So, to go with the theme of things, you know, a lot of people do not like this scent. <laughs> I'm going to use the uh, uh, Pinot Clubman Lilac Vegetal. <laughs> Because this soap has lilac in it. <laughs> this is the uh, aftershave lotion. Ooh, that's way too much. I'll let it dissipate. Ooh, it's letting me know I had a close shave, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Whew, that's got a lot of alcohol in it. Ooh, wee. That's setting my face afire. And for the post shave balm, I'm going to use uh, Soap Commander's After Shave Balm and Bark, which is uh, Tonka Oodin Powder. Not going to use all that much. That's all it needs. Ooh, that lilac is still burning me up. Wow. Whew. All right. So, in conclusion, let's do a recap. I used the uh, Slant Alpha Ecliptic that I was gifted by Trebby B. I used my Omega 10066 board brush. I used a... Parker Blade in it, and I the soap I used is uh, Southern Witchcraft's <laughs> Lycanthropy, and that was a very strong scent, very protective, great poche feel, and I'm glad I have nine others to check out. So, that's going to do it for right now, and... Uh, Oh, I was uh, tagged by uh, Maya's Magic uh, for the uh, Cheer Someone Up Challenge. <laughs> and given that that uh, <laughs> this particular uh, Southern Witchcraft has such uh, strange and, and scary and spooky and, and yucky and all about death type stuff, my poem will be this. Little birdie in the snow, you're cold, this I know. I'll throw you a crust of bread, then I'll squash your freaking head. Oh, that is ill. Oh, that is ill. But you know you loved it. <laughs> so for you sick people out there like me, that cheered you up. I know it did. <laughs> So, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye for right now, and you guys know I love you, right? Right. Bye. <laughs>